Größer bist. Hier sind viele Leute gestorben. You don't hijack the plane in? And these terrorists, they broke into the cockpit and then they took over flying the plane. So that's how they got the planes to fly into here. And they also flew into the Pentagon. And then there was one more plane. The passengers on that plane, they fought back. They saved that plane from going and crashing into the U.S. Capitol. Those people are our heroes. And then we, two, two weeks later, we went to war in Afghanistan. All kinds of fighter jets and bombs and, and tanks. is right here to this tree where there is shade and there is sun so you could have whichever you prefer so we don't get in everyone's way if we can stay over here on the left hand side we'll be in good shape the memorial is designed for you to make physical contact with it to actually touch the names so do not feel that the appropriate behavior that shows respect is to be standoffish it is not the only thing that we do ask, and I really doubt that any of you would have the impulse to do this anyhow, do not put things on the name. Coats, elbows, cups, bags, anything like that. The other thing I want to say to you is this was truly, you are an international group of people. This was the World Trade Center. People from over 90 countries die here that morning. They were Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, atheists. Some made their way in the world washing dishes. Others ran powerful companies. But almost every single one of them dies that morning because they do something that all of us do with most of our lives. They woke up and they went to work.
no sintieron el primer impacto. Dice que el avión entró a la torre como, como cuando tú metes un cuchillo en la mantequilla, así, caliente, no se derrite así. What is this over there? The white right thing? The white thing is a train station. By, uh, the, you know, the city of Spain, Valencia? Yes. Do you know uh, that, like, that big white building in Valencia, too? That's uh, exactly the same. And it's by the same architect. <laughs> he does that. He does that shit. Yeah. Okay. All right, pizza time. Excuse me, hello. Hello, hello, hello. There's no smoking on the plaza. No smoking on the plaza. That, that's quite all right, thank you. So, I want to talk to you about the pools. Directly in front of you is the South Pool. The South Pool stands in the footprint of the South Tower, World Trade Center number two. So, that's exactly where World Trade Center number two stood. Can everyone see that line of trees that goes around the pool? That line of trees represents the outer wall of the building. So that means in a few minutes, when we go up to see the falls and you go past those trees, you will be standing in what was once the lobby of World Trade Center number two. You're gonna see the falls. The falls come out in individual rivulets, one for each person killed on 9-11. Goes down about 20 feet or so into a huge pool. In the center of the pool, another opening. Goes down another 10 feet or so. No matter how hard you try, you can't see the bottom of that opening because it's a void. And the void is a symbol of the emptiness that we feel here over the loss of life. I'm sure all of you can see the water under the names. That water comes directly from the pool. What someone will do, visiting a loved one, and please feel free to do the very, very same. Take their hand, put it in the water, rub their hand over a name. Water, of course, a symbol of life. And notice how the names are on the wall. They are not arranged in alphabetical order. For example, people who work in the same office in this building, they're together. Firefighters out of the same firehouse, together. Police officers out of the same police precinct, together. We call that meaningful adjacencies. People together in death, just the way they were together in life. Maybe stupid question, the names of the killers. Absolutely not. not. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. The only place you'll find them is if you should go into the museum. There's a special part that deals with Al Qaeda. Mm -hmm. Why he forgot he put the bathroom key in his pocket. Forgot. 
but it's kind of a cool. Yeah, keepsake. I can imagine it'd be hard as someone when you hear the stories of people like why they didn't go to work that day or something, and they're like, why did this person? How did I get so lucky? Right? Like, I'm sure some people feel bad that it's gone. Do you want to get a picture of this in that thing? Yeah. 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 Yeah.